M0FXB, welcome back to my dog walks. Mazzy is here. We're having a nice walk. Look at this beautiful round here. All the way up into the woods. Just completely beautiful England. Let's talk raspberry pies. Have you got a raspberry pie? Raspberry pie zero, raspberry pie, let's say two, three, four, and now five. Because if you are into the ham radio hobby, you one million percent should get one. Now you probably don't know this, but many hotspots already have them underneath. Okay, so like a, a jumbo hotspot, you use for DMRD star fusion, they have a Raspberry Pi already. So you're already using a Raspberry Pi, but there's so many things that you can do with a Raspberry Pi without the MMDVM hat. So the hat is the thing that sits on top of the hotspot. It's not a radio, believe it or not. Well, I suppose it does send out a 70 centimeter signal where it passes through the DMRD star fusion. It does do that, but um, it's not like a radio that you can tune, put it that way. So there's so many things. Once you remove the hat, you end up with the Pi Zero, and there's so many things you can do. Now, for starters, you could just lo load up Raspbian. So that's the Raspberry Pi software. It's free software, and it's not hard to load it up because they have made uh, a thing called a Raspberry Pi Imager. So you get the SD, imagine the SD card inside your Raspberry Pi is, um, is the hard drive in your computer. Okay, well, that's what an SD card's doing. So you load different software onto the or firmware is it the image it's an image let's, let's get the right word onto the onto the SD card put it into your Raspberry Pi and it comes to life and it can do so many different things you know have you heard of oh what's that image called it's ham I think it's called ham pie but you load an image and within that image there's lots of different programs that you can use with ham radio you can use it for SSTV you can send and receive APRS probably need um yeah it's just configuration you, you'll be receiving it via the internet it won't be radio uh, but that most programs will work on what they call Linux so you can run FTA I mean the, the, the list is so long of programs that you can run on a Raspberry Pi Zero and why not learn you know how the sort of Raspbian and the bullseye as they call it works now the sort of operating system and you can buy a Raspberry Pi Zero W now for about, Mazzy, <laughs> pulling, literally about £15 delivered. And it's fast because it's, it's, you know, this is 2025. So Raspberry Pi technology has come on. It's basically a mini computer. It's not Windows. Yeah, um, it's Linux. So I'm just going to say in this video, buy yourself a Raspberry Pi, get one. The one I, I think is a great starter one is a Raspberry Pi 3B. It has Bluetooth. It's very cheap to buy, literally 20 pounds second hand, maybe less. How, of course has Wi-Fi, USB connections and an ethernet connection so you can plug it via cable. And just start to experiment. Just put into YouTube, ham radio, Raspberry Pi, and you'll see all the different videos come up. And I'm not even an expert on it, but I'm saying that I've dabbled with it a lot and you'll find that a lot of all star nodes have a Raspberry Pi connected. So if you're listening to Hubnet and someone says I'm coming in via an all star node, it's basically a Raspberry Pi with the radio connected to it, physically with the soldered wires. Yeah, which then allow, it sort of repeats it and allows the other radios in your house to talk through it. And it uses milliwatts. And uh, I've, probably the thing I use the most in my shack and of course your MMDVM hotspots fantastic you can add color screens to them uh, and all kinds and you can buy very very cheap um, screens for Raspberry Pis now so if you think oh the screens a bit small no you can get big ones now they have HDMI out even the old ones and uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel bye for now 73 give it a go